It's Friday of the second week of Easter, and today we're in the community hall kitchen. I'll explain why later, but for now, the gospel for today from John. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him. Two hundred days wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and one fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to the disciples, Gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. As you can see, there's some chicken and some cookies and some goodies here. This is for tonight, for shepherd's meal. And you're probably thinking, uh-oh, they're going to do something illegal. But we're not. What we're doing is preparing these meals, and anyone who needs a good meal, who doesn't have the resources, can come and get a free meal tonight, put into their car. As they come and pull up around the circle in front of the church, we'll figure out how many people they have in the car. We will then package it, put it in their trunk, and they can go away with a hot, healthy meal. And in a way, what little we have will be, like today's gospel, multiplied in so many ways. And the multiplication won't be just in the food. It'll be in the spirit that happens as well. There's only a few people who will be doing this effort, a few people who will be cooking, a few people who will be packaging and distributing, because we want to keep the numbers down. And don't worry, they will have gloves on and they will have masks on. But, that's not the only thing that's happening. They're being fed, both spiritually and physically. But what about us? Us who may have food in the house. What about our shepherd's meal? Who's going to multiply the food for us? That food that we so desperately want. Maybe that's what we need to think about today. How can we multiply the gifts we have been given for others? And the way we can do that is simple. It isn't going and donating so that others can have that we already are doing. But this is a personal thing. This is for us. How do we feed ourselves when we are so hungry Next week we'll be talking about the Eucharist, but for today, I ask you to think about the means that you have to be able to feed yourself spiritually. Utilize not only this five minutes with me, but Deacon Chuck's mustard seeds. 
go and watch the weekend masses. And they're on for a week, so you can review them, listening again to the scriptures or listening to the homily. And you can, because we're, most of us are technologically advanced, we can get online and we can go and read some scripture, read articles, read pieces that help us to not only understand scripture, but understand how it works for us at this moment, at this time. We will be putting things online, don't worry, to give you ideas. But for today, I want you to reflect upon how you're being fed, how you are getting more than you can imagine, and how you can still keep on being fed, not just for one meal for one day, but for the rest of your life. Enjoy this day. Enjoy the gifts you have been given. And especially, remember, mustard seeds tomorrow and the Mass this weekend. Have a good weekend.